when you look in your, when you imagine billionaire, what comes to your head? Do you think of a philanthropic giant or do you think of Mr. Burns in the corner saying, excellent from the Simpsons? If you have the idea of what wealth is, of what wealthy people are, they're just out to get a buck and to rip everyone off. Today, I wanna to talk about the other side of it. I wanna talk about Andrew Carnegie, multi-billionaire, one of the original business tycoons right after Vanderbilt uh, in the 1800s. Him and his family immigrated here from Scotland when he was 12 years old. And being from Scotland, he, you know, they didn't have enough money to make ends meet, so they had to move here. They didn't even have enough money to move here as a family. So his family, the Carnegie family, had to borrow money from friends and family to help them get over here. Once he came to the United States, Andrew Carnegie got a job at the age of 13 just to help support his family. His first job as a boppin' boy, boppin' boy, we don't have those anymore, he worked for a factory, I only paid $1.50 a day. But this young boy was not satisfied with staying at a $1.50 a day job. He did his best and he did phenomenally, but he made sure to keep learning. As he got a promotion to another job, he made sure that every person he met, he memorized their name. Throughout his career, he made it a point to do two things. Always be learning. He was a vivacious reader. He loved to read, but also always be building relationships. He worked for relationships. Whenever he was a messenger boy when he was younger and he had to deliver messages to important businessmen, he would remember their names so he could call them by name saying, Mr. Thomas, I have your message for you. And this would keep going throughout his career. And because of this habit, he caught people's attention. He caught people's attention as a reliable young man, a man who could be trusted, and a man who really cared about those he worked, that he worked for and who worked for him. He was known for his giving to charity, for his love and his passion for those that were around him, and he never lost this art of helping others, of learning from others, but helping them. Uh, when he got richer, when he got more successful, he used this ability to remember names and build relationships to help further his business, but also further the business of those around him. He truly worked for relationships. How are you at working at relationships? If you're like me, you may not have been the best to begin with. I know when I began the personal development field, I, I had no idea where to start. And I said, okay, I've got to work for relationships. What do I do? And I was given the challenge, Madeline, find a mentor. So I said, okay, how can I find a mentor? And I made a list of all the potential mentors. And that's a challenge I'm gonna make with you. I want you to make a list of everyone who you could potentially form a relationship with. Uh, people, this could be people you admire, people that you could easily contact or people that would be almost impossible for you to contact. It doesn't matter, make your list. And then actually try to get in contact with them. I want you to make a list of at least 10 people. You are the sum of the, of the four people you hang out with most. So look around you, the four people you're around most. If they're not exactly where you wanna be, it's time to take this challenge. It's time to start taking your success seriously. So make your list get contacting. I promise you, this changed my career completely. It helped start my career in most it helped me start my career as a coach in places where most people have to get wait a decade to get to where I was to be able to actually do that as a full-time job supporting myself and my family. Uh, so, what's your list? It can work in any industry. And you know what? You might contact 60 people and one person responds, but that one person is the person you need to speak with. So start your success the Carnegie way. Start connecting with those around you. Go out there and start exceeding your Everest.